Aside from costumes earned from the Plunder Pass, curses are some of the coolest cosmetic items you can get your hands on in Sea of Thieves. When equipped, each curse alters your pirate's appearance in a unique way, but don't go thinking it's going to take just a few minutes to unlock them. Each curse is going to take you quite a few hours and sometimes days of dedicated time to unlock. And aside from the legendary curse, this means completing a set of specific commendations where the final one grants you the curse. So far, there are five curses in total. The Curse of the Order, the Shores of Gold Curse, the Ashen Curse, the Curse of Sunken Sorrow, and the Legendary Curse. And we will undoubtedly see more as the game develops and new content continues to release. Now let's get into the important stuff, how you too can get your hands on these rare cosmetics. The Curse of the Order is instantly recognizable as the same dark pattern that the Order of Souls representatives have, supposedly caused by using Kraken Ink to see beyond this world. To obtain this curse, you need to earn all of the commendations for Part 2 of the Shores of Gold story arc, The Cursed Rogue Tall Tale. Yes, you guessed it, that means you must first complete Part 1 of the Shores of Gold, The Shroudbreaker Tall Tale, to even start The Cursed Rogue. But you don't need to worry about completing the commendations for The Shroudbreaker, only The Cursed Rogue. And just to ensure you've had your fill of fighting Captain Briggsy, one of these commendations requires you to complete the Tall Tale five times. Once you've earned all of the required commendations, the final commendation will be automatically given to you and the Curse of the Order will be yours. The Shores of Gold Curse is next on this list, and as you might have been able to guess by the name, it covers your pirate in patches of gold similar to the Gold Hoarders representatives. If this is the curse that's caught your eye, I have some not so great news for you. However, if you've already obtained the Curse of the Order, then you're off to a decent start. The Shores of Gold Curse requires you to earn all of the commendations for the Shores of Gold story arc. Yes, you heard me right. Remember how I said the Curse of the Order only requires the commendations to be done for part two? Well, the Shores of Gold Curse requires you to earn all of the commendations for parts 1 through 9. That means every commendation for all 9 Tall Tales, including the Shroudbreaker, the Cursed Rogue, the Legendary Storyteller, Stars of a Thief, Wild Rose, the Art of the Trickster, the Fate of the Morning Star, Revenge of the Morning Star, and the aptly named Shores of Gold Tall Tale. For each of these tall tales, you'll earn most of the commendations just by playing through them, and you'll want to keep your eye out for any journals you find along the way. But the real kicker is that you'll end up needing to complete each tall tale five times. That means by the end of it all, you'll have technically completed 45 tall tales. Do all of this and you'll be rewarded with the final commendation that grants you the curse. So if the Shores of Gold curse is calling your name, make sure you're ready to commit a lot of time to obtaining it. Next up is the Ashen Curse, which outfits your pirate with patches of soot and cracks that have a glowing fire within them. To earn this curse, you simply need to earn all of the commendations for the Heart of Fire Tall Tale. Thankfully, this Tall Tale came out with the Heart of Fire content update and, as such, is a standalone Tall Tale. That means there's no other Tall Tales or parts you have to finish to begin this one. Once again, you'll earn many of the necessary commendations simply by finishing the Tall Tale. Make sure you're looking for journals along the way and finish the Tall Tale three times in total, and the Ashen Curse is yours. As the latest curse to be introduced to the game, the Curse of Sunken Sorrow was released as part of the Sunken Kingdom content update and covers your pirate's body with barnacle-like spots, dark purple patches, and glowing streaks of ultraviolet colors. The Curse of Sunken Sorrow requires players to earn only some of the commendations that are part of the Sunken Kingdom, which thankfully, like the Ashen Curse, doesn't have any other parts you need to do before you can start it. However, these commendations are a little bit different. You must first sail around to the six Siren Shrines located across the map and collect the five journals hidden within each of them for a total of 30. Doing this will unlock the Legend of the Sunken Kingdom Voyage from Lorena, and upon its completion, you will be rewarded with the curse. Lastly comes the Legendary Curse, which makes your pirate's eyes glow green and places a glowing legendary mark on the left side of your pirate's chest. Unfortunately, this is the one curse on this list that can't be acquired if you don't already have it. It was originally granted to players who achieved a reputation level of 50 with three of the trading companies, not counting Athena's Fortune or Bilgerats, and players also had to have reached a renown level of 100 during Season 1. 
In the beginning, Rare announced that players who didn't end up acquiring these Pirate Legend rewards, like the Legendary Curse, before Season 1 ended, would still be able to purchase them from shops in exchange for gold. But you would need to earn a specific commendation to unlock the ability to purchase them. Less than a month later, apparently a lot of poor feedback about this decision convinced Rare to let these Season 1 cosmetics remain as exclusive items. Still, it seems they did leave the door open for the potential to reintroduce them into the game at a later date. As far as I can tell, Rare hasn't indicated any plans to bring back the Legendary Curse anytime soon, and if I had to take an educated guess, I don't think they will ever. Which unfortunately means if you don't already have this curse, then you're probably out of luck. That covers basically everything you need to know about the current curses in Sea of Thieves. Check out the video description for the links I've included that will take you right to the list of commendations you need for each of these curses, or you can check out the commendations in your in-game pirate log before you set sail. Don't forget to subscribe for even more Sea of Thieves content, and I hope you enjoyed.